Hello and welcome to the new lecture on wireless and mobile communication. I am Professor Budhadeep Bhattacharya of VIT University. In the last lecture, we have discussed on the cellular shape and a very important concept called as frequency reuse and how the frequency reuse helps in improving the cellular capacity by replicating the same channels over and over again at a different geographical location in the under the same coverage region or the particular uh, coverage region and we have also observed that uh, using the cellular uh, this frequency reuse concept we actually can replicate the same uh, channels uh, placed and, and can place them at a remotely different location without having that much of an interference and also it we have also proved that there is a certain relationship on a number of cells that can constitute one cluster and that is given by n equals to i square plus ig plus j square where i and j are two two integers which can take values from 0 to n and in that context we have also discussed that n cannot be taken any value it should be strictly restricted with this equation and to focus on that particular equation we have also proved that how this n equals to i square plus ij and j square is actually derived for a hexagonal cellular structure. Also at the end we have discussed one very simple problem in that we have discussed that how a 40 voice channel can give rise to 86, uh, 84 uh, voice, uh, voice channels over the same coverage region if we are going from a high powered single omnidirectional antenna to multiple low power transmitter or frequency views. This is what the main briefing of the earlier lectures we had. Now this handoff is a very important topic uh, of our discussion for today. In handoff what happens now the cellular coverage or the cell is clear to us. The coverage region is bound that is also clear to us. How the frequency reuse is happening that is also quite okay. But now what we are having is that when a user who is near to this particular base station 1 okay if he is near to this base station 1 and now he is in a position because it's a mobile device in in, a, in all probabilities it will, he will like move in this particular zone and he might come to the vicinity of a new base station out here so what is the process of handling over the responsibilities from base station 1 to base station 2. This is primarily what we know as a principle of handoff. That the base station 1 will hand off the responsibilities or the signal attributes, whatever the call was in progress, to the next base station. Now, this is what we have the three scenarios for. Okay? So this particular graph, as you can observe, or the diagram, that this is a function of x. On, okay? So the x is going on here in the, with respect to this user as it goes along to a particular region the signal quality from base station 1 is decreasing whereas the other base station the signal quality increasing increases okay so that is the main reason why what we are observing that there should be an optimal point or an optimal zone or a scenario where this handover should take place this is the basic point of observation for this now you can see that we, I have mentioned three specific scenarios. The first scenario being that handoff may be made needed at the cell boundary based on the threshold level of the receive signal. Okay. So if the if you if the receive signal is very poor, okay, and suppose a particular threshold level is required to have a proper voice communication. If time permits, we'll actually add one problem to this. You will understand what exactly I am talking about threshold. So, if suppose there is some threshold till which the voice quality will be fine and it is acceptable. So, what will happen that till that boundary the threshold should be checked and if it goes beyond the threshold then there should be a handoff. So, naturally the handoff may be needed at the boundary of the cell. That is why the boundary of the cell is very important because you can imagine that when it is in the boundary the cellular coverage it is going beyond the or distance, distance wise, it is going far much away from the base station. So naturally, the signal quality should drop. The second scenario is that it may be needed at the cell boundary, okay, based on the carrier to interference ratio. So basically, again, 18 dB in order to have a telephone voice quality, 
so suppose there is some carrier interference happening okay some interference is happening from the carrier signal and that also is again at the boundary when we are reaching over reaching at the boundary we might need a handle so whatever it is at the boundary when you are going beyond a certain coverage region of a particular base station whatever happens you need a base station you need a base station which actually takes care of the ongoing call okay and another part is that there is there might be some signal strength holes weak spots okay signal gaps in that also you might require a handle so it might be the scenario that under a particular particular uh, environment or on, on a particular basis like suppose you went to a region by while talking you went to a region where it is it is shadowed or it is being obstructed by uh, the end user uh, by by some uh, obstacles so it might need it that you are in a position where the first base station might not reach but it is under the direct or at least uh, the better uh, coverage under the better coverage of another base station so you might require a handoff in that case so whatever happens the handoff will take place because ultimately the main objective is to have a very good quality of service to the end user so that the user while talking on phone doesn't have to bother much how to get the phone connected or whether the phone will get connected or will be or rather if he is in, into the in a phone call whether it will get dropped and again he has to redial all these uh, problems he should not face right this is the main reason why handoff now the main criteria behind the handoff strategies is given by this particular very small trivial equation and that is this delta so delta is a margin which is given by the pr handoff minus the pr minimum usable now this pr handoff minus pr stable gives a very important judicious decision making uh, parameters because as you can observe that if this delta cannot be too large or too small we will see that in the later diagram also now this delta should not be too large or too small why because if the delta is too large it means that there should be too many handoffs that will take place because the minimum stable that the threshold if you consider it to be the threshold is so low that even after certain even if the call quality is good because of the threshold being kept at a, such a low position the difference makes it to be unstable so you require an handoff now handoff is necessary which i to which i mentioned that whenever it, it is happening this handoff is a necessary thing but unnecessary handoff will actually burden the base station because each and every time whenever the base station or whenever the handoff is taking place we'll just go and check the other properties of handoff where we'll see the mobile assisted handoff or the network assisted handoff okay all this process so the, basically the device both at the transmitter as well as the receiver if you consider the receiver in this case is base station all will be busy in doing this unnecessary handoff so that is the basic problem if this delta is too large if the delta is too small then what will happen then naturally this it means that the threshold has been set so high that even if suppose the user is at the boundary of a cellular coverage and it requires a proper handoff because of the faulty design it will not undergo a handoff okay so that is the basic Ob objective and so naturally what will happen and user requires a handoff but the handoff is not taking place hence the call will get dropped so that is the basic reason why this delta as a margin is very very important so just to give an insight on that let us go ahead in another uh, diagram this is a very common diagram available in wrapper code to explain the uh, handoff strategies in that you will find the top one half is the improper handoff what we can observe Okay, so this is the, the top diagram is showing the improper handoff, and this is what we call as a proper handoff. Now, in improper handoff, what is happening over here is that we have a craft with respect to time, and we have a something as a receive signal strength. Now, you can observe, observe that in this improper handoff, what is happening that the user is at somewhere here. So the base station one is over here, and the user is somewhere located at A. Okay, you check this dotted line; it will go somewhere. So I'll mark this point also. Now what is happening? That A is moving towards B. 
so it is at the boundary which is one of the sufficient condition to have a handoff so it is at the boundary of this base station one and now it is going towards the next boundary so what is happening within this period within this period the call or the signal quality is coming down because this is received signal strength so it is coming down a bit okay now what will happen because it's an improper handoff it's designing in its is faulty design in such a manner that the threshold okay the minimum threshold might be kept so high that eventually what is happening that even if it has reached somewhere at, around here at b okay even if it has reached there the call quality has come down because it, this is the same device this is the same car which is coming from this looking into this but while it has reached b or even in between the call quality has come down drastically because you can see minimum acceptable signal to maintain a call so it has come down below that so naturally the call won't, won't exist and there will be a fault so that is the basic problem with the improper handoff that's why the delta came comes into picture understand now even in the proper handoff what is happening you can see it is coming down it is coming down but this is the region which is actually the margin of the two bound two cells okay now when it is at margin what is happening that the threshold level is set in a way because it's it's a, it's a proper handoff so the threshold level is set properly and what is happening that at this position the call quality is going up because the receive signal or the call is now being entertained by this base station 2 so what is happening at this point when it is at it has reached b it is getting the proper signal or the communication for that matter from base station 2 hence when it is at when it has gone to b the connection from a has been terminated but b is now connected to base station so this is what we call as the proper handoff and this is what we call as improper handoff we have to remember the fact that delta plays a very very important role in this case right so this is what the main diagram of improper and proper handoff now when we go to the different types of handoff there are many but this is one of the starting point of the types of handoff in which one is the intercell handoff where we can consider it to be the hard and the soft handoff we will come a little bit later about the details of this hard handoff and soft handoff but primarily what is happening since we have some time we can just go through it hard handoff is something when the user okay when when the user requires a handoff it will break the connection okay of the established connection that he has and then it will again go and connect to the new base station so it is basically break before make so hard handoff we can call this as break sorry we can call this as break before make so hard handoff also is called break before make so this is what we call it okay and in the, on the other hand we have something called as soft handoff which we call as make before break we'll come and talk on this in detail in the next lecture uh, for the timing what we have observed that we we, have, we now know what do you mean by handoff why what we call as a proper handoff what we call as a improper handoff how do we set this proper and an improper handoff why how to avoid the improper handoff by setting a possible margin how the margin is mentioned and also uh, we have also gone about discussing on the different types of handoff in which we have started with hard handoff and soft handoff so from next lecture lecture we are going to go in detail of the handoff procedures thank you for listening